And how y'all know I'm committed is the same day where I almost died, killing my legs, went to meet the guru, the master of kicking Gary's honor, and got a kicking workout in as well. I like the way you warmed up with the soccer ball. But when you were doing that, what were you working on? Definitely just contact with the ball, whipping the leg a little bit. You want to have a purpose to whatever you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Like when Aubrey came out, he warmed up with a soccer ball, the same thing. And I said, what are you working on? But this guy told him about keeping his head down. And I said, well, I'm never going to tell you that. Remember the eyes, Drew. But see, you weren't doing that there. You were just kicking hard. So Gary's Honor is just a legendary figure in the kicking community. And to be honest, he's done so much that I would be doing a disservice if I don't pull up his Wikipedia right now and read it for y'all, bro. So he was a coach starting in 1979 for BYU, San Diego State, New Mexico State, Long Beach State, Minnesota Vikings, Baltimore Ravens, Arizona Cardinals, and California Redwoods, special teams coordinator. He's also a kicking consultant starting in the 1980s for the Eagles, the Browns, the Chargers, Chargers, the Niners, the Bears, the Chiefs, the Seahawks, New York Giants, and some of the notable figures he's worked with. Brandon Aubrey, right now he's in money in the league, kicking for the Dallas Cowboys, Matt Gay. Literally any kicker in the league, you name him, Gary Jones worked with him. That was a little punchier, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about everything else. Well, you don't can't. think about anything else. It's a soccer ball. Donald's definitely got talent, so now it's a matter of putting in the hard work and getting the same swing and uh, being as proficient as a, a Brandon Aubrey, a, a Matt Gay. And one thing I tried to get him to do, Donald, I tried to get him to kick this like this. Brandon Aubrey was a soccer player, so was Matt Gay. They kicked this without thinking, so I'm trying to get him to kick this without thinking. One step, left, right, start toed out, step toed out, hit it, say eyes. And how eyes. easy is it to walk down? Now see, you're pretty much wearing out this spot with your kicking leg. So balls are gonna go straight. Eyes, skip. Now, you only pushed one ball so far, and that's good. Eyes. All right, now you kick that one harder. That's that's the next drill. And I've worked with Coach Zoner in the past, like years and years ago, and he has not changed one bit. He has all these little eccentric, old school ways of coaching and teaching that he does. He has this old school VHS camera that he sets up. He sets up cones in certain ways. Like he really, really dumbs down the drills and takes you back to the very beginning so that you could build it back up the right way. So all you're doing is repetition, repetition for what we're talking about, the perfect swing. Because now when you started with the soccer ball, you had a real punchy mm -hmm. and you were swinging hard. Now in kicking, you only have to swing hard enough to make them all. That's a bar you just drop. Okay. And typically, like I'm very eager about when I work out, so I'm always trying to kick thousand footballs and keep kicking and booting and booting and booting and booting but coach Zoner is different bro so how hard do you think you kicked that that one uh, you went after it right 70 75 why would you have to kick 75 percent on a 45 yard field goal i shouldn't no it's an ego thing you want to blast it above the well, net that's and your ego my ego would be i i, I try kick. to not miss we kick probably like 10 to 12 balls and right when i want to kick the one extra ball he's like all right shut it down let's go in the shed let's go watch film let's go see what you're doing to the shed man this is kind of a, a crunch forward you see this if you look at yourself compared to him see his hip can come up it's going through the ball now even though his left arm is a little you know across his body but just look at his torso if you look at his head see his head's going up your head is kind of going forward <laughs> so you're you're kicking more in a driving phase and he's lifting them up. I would like to say I'm a great kicker. Obviously there's things to improve on, but Coach Zahner is breaking me down all the way. Like he's telling me I'm a cruncher. I should eliminate my crunch. Basically my body is going down like this when I kick. He likes to compare me to a pecking chicken. Okay, so give me your leg, okay? There you go. Now come here. Okay, now lift your leg. <laughs> there you go. So, it ain't going nowhere. Well, yeah. you can't get, you can't finish. Basically he's saying I have to get rid of that. I have to eliminate that. I have to stand tall. I have to be able to get my hips through the ball. Watching the video, he's, a, he's, he's what I call a quick study. He saw it. He went out and performed it. And he saw the changes that occurred from the beginning of the lesson to the end of the lesson. All right, go get it. Eyes up, eyes up, and 
There you go. Because he's used to being what I call a cruncher, and I'm trying to make him a more natural style of a kicker. So like I said, Gary Zona has the pulse. He has his finger on everything kicking, and he hosts these kicking combines, which he invites free agents and guys who want to make it pro, guys like myself who have dreams and aspirations of playing, and they're invite only. He needs to, you know, come in and compete, um, and that's the best way to do it. By the time March 9th, comes around for the free agent combine, he's ready to go in front of the NFL coaches. And I think that's where I'm gonna make my money and I'm gonna prove myself and I'm gonna show the world that I'm not just no YouTuber. I'm not just no guy that's been capping on the internet saying I could kick or editing my videos. I guess it's gonna be when I put all my talent and everything I work for on the line. So I would think that if he's kicking like this and he kicks off better, then it comes down to if, if teams are gonna take a chance on. How old are you, 27? on a 27-year-old um, superstar.